Hey guys, welcome to today's episode. So right now I'm watching a show on Netflix called The Queen's Gambit. I actually just finished and it's really, really good. It's one of the better series I've seen recently. It's about an orphan named Beth Harmon, who's a child chess prodigy, and she goes on to beat the very best adult players in the world in an era where women, and especially young girls, were not playing in big chess tournaments. Now, when I was a kid, I got into chess and I wasn't exactly what you would call a prodigy. Actually, I was pretty average but I love the strategic thought behind chess and I always really enjoyed the game. And one birthday, I got this electronic chess board named after the Russian chess grandmaster, Garry Kasparov, who many consider one of the greatest players of all time. And this electronic board, it would actually allow you to play against a computer. You'd be playing against the board itself. So you would make your move by pushing down the pieces on the board, and then the board in the little display would tell you where to move its pieces. And you could play different levels. The goal was to progressively move up the levels and improve. Now the first levels were easy but I quickly realized I stood no chance against even the moderate levels. The machine was just way too many moves ahead. And it's interesting because for decades, it was believed that computers would never be able to beat the greatest human players. Back in the 1950s, different scientists began designing different chess playing computers, but none of them could beat any of the, of the chess grandmasters at the time until May 11th, 1997. A new computer program had just been developed by a scientist working at IBM named Feng Xing Shu. I'm sorry if I butcher that name, but this guy had been working on this chess computer for many years and he dubbed it Deep Blue. Now Deep Blue could calculate up to 200 billion moves in the three minutes traditionally allotted to a player per move in standard chess. That's a lie. And it was absolutely relentless. So Gary Kasparov, he sits down one day to play this supercomputer to see who's the best. And he ended up giving up after just 19 moves. He later remarked, I lost my fighting spirit. Now since then, chess computers have evolved to far more sophisticated levels. Their sheer power, just the processing power they have combined with increasingly more advanced artificial intelligence means that they're in a league that's way beyond what the human mind can play at, even the very best players. Even the downloadable app versions of these powered by just a cell phone. You know, you can have a chess app on a cell phone like this. This can beat easily the greatest players on the planet. Artificial intelligence is gonna to continue to get smarter and disrupt entire industries around the world. You know that, I know that, that's not new news. Everyone knows that, but the pace is gonna to continue to accelerate. And one of my goals with Strive, with all the training that we're doing, I wanna really focus on online training that people can use to learn new technical career skills so that if they need, they can pivot in their career or start an entirely new career path when artificial intelligence and computers and robots come and completely disrupt or end their industry. So that's why we're focused on technical skills right now, like front-end website development, coding, graphic design, video editing, and far, far many more topics. Now, we currently have a small handful of courses created in our own studios right here, in fact, and they are led by some of the very best trainers that I could find. And over the coming months, we're gonna be adding a whole lot more. Now, as a member of Strive, you're gonna get access to all of these courses. Everything is included with that one monthly membership and all the future ones that we film. So you'll be able to learn new in-demand technical skills from home or wherever you want, and you'll be able to use these to build your future career. Now, right now, I'm giving away a seven-day free trial of Strive so that you can see for yourself all the courses we have and whether you like them or not. There's zero risk or obligation on your part. So if you decide not to continue, no problem, you won't hurt my feelings. Just contact Strive uh, by emailing support at strivecourses.com and tell us you wanna cancel, no problem. But you'll get a seven day free trial. And even better than that, if you decide to continue, you're gonna to start to accumulate seminar vacation points. Now here's how that works. Every single month, as a monthly member, you're gonna get one point. You need six points to attend a seminar vacation. A seminar vacation is seven days, six nights in length, it includes everything for you and a guest, and they are currently being held in Costa Rica. So if in 2021, you would like to bring a guest to a live training event with everything covered in Costa Rica and stay 
at a beachfront resort, all you've got to do is become an active member of Strive and get at least six seminar vacation points. So that's it. If you want to become a member, go to strivecourses.com, get that risk-free seven-day trial and see what you think. All right, that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate your attention and I'll see you tomorrow.